Mama? What did you see inside? I don't know for certain. I'll never forget it. So it wasn't your sister? I don't know. It's all up to you now. 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 River? It's all up to you now. They only found one body, Ellie. Your mother's. The report states that your mother was locked inside the bathroom and that your mother tried to shield herself in the bathtub from the fire. A fire that they determined was caused by arson. At that age, Dr. Thorne, your world can be shattered so easily. You hear everything. What society tells you, what authorities tell you, what you tell yourself. It takes years to learn how to listen. Even then, you don't always hear from the ones you need. Ellie, why didn't you tell the authorities at the time what you saw? They already knew that River heard voices. For me to say that I saw things, the way they looked at her, I didn't want them to look at me the same way. How often do you think of your mother? Each passing second. Can't end for her in this place. Well, that's for River to decide. I don't believe she has a choice anymore. Her condition has come and gone in the past. She's lived outside this place. She can do it again. But ever since she's had Izzy, it's been different. She's safe here. Not forever, but for now, Ellie. You take care of the child, I'll take care of River. Faith, Ellie. So, you found a place. We have an appointment today. Gavin and Izzy are waiting. So what's so special about this place? It's Amora. You could have bring my daughter there. She's found a control river. To Izzy, they're just friends. They all want to be friends. Why are you still doing this? I need to find out what happened to Mom. This house could let me speak to her one last time. When can I see her? Soon.
Nice to meet you, Gavin. Nice to meet you. And you must be Isabel. Izzy, it fits me better. <laughs> nice to meet you, Izzy. She's quite the little pistol, isn't she, Ellie? Well, she's my sister's kid, that's for sure. <laughs> Any first impressions of the place? Grounds are beautiful. How about you, Izzy? I like the tree. Good. Starting positive is always good. <laughs> I checked with every contact I know, and no one will touch it. In fact, the last owners only lived here four days, mainly kept it for the horses. Uncle Gavin? What is it, Peanut? What about my friends? They can wait out here. It's their turn to play anyway. But they might get lonely, and I won't be able to watch them to make sure they're safe. <sighs> All right. Ellie. Come on, if we stay out and play. I don't think Izzy's up to it. You'll be fine. Go by the house. All right, go play. In the years before its slumber, Amara was home to a dozen families, with a lot of them moving in and out in the latter end. Over that time, the furnishings were gathered by what was left by them, which is why many of the styles don't match. So you said Izzy is your niece? That's correct. Hmm. I don't mean to pry, but what happened to her parents? My sister's institutionalized. Lord knows where the father is. <laughs> well, what do you think? I thought I saw two more windows above the garage. The attic, which should be... Try this one. Do you mind? <clears throat> Why would anyone want to keep us from getting in? Better question. Who would want to keep us out? May I ask something against my instructions? Well, sure. Why buy this house? Because this house has a gap in the middle. I don't follow. You're not from around here, are you, Marcy? Well, no. You're standing in a local legend. She's a haunted house. What if Amara isn't? Don't worry. I have it on good authority. Who? My niece. Since we arrived, she hasn't laid an eye on her. small ones and bring them to the porch for Aunt Ellie. Just be careful, okay?
quickly. I don't want to break anything. Spend all your inheritance on a new home and you're already breaking shit. I didn't break them. Is she all right out there? Take a breather. Hard part is over. We got the house. I have something to show you. It's an armoire. They must have moved it in here. Who's they? Not the previous owners. I thought you said nobody's lived here since the 60s. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's that? It's a mirror. It's beautiful. Would paint over this. They? <laughs> Do you have a box cutter? step. Now turn left. Keep going. Almost there. Another turn. One more turn. All right, you can open them. It's mine? All yours. Your aunt gained quite a bit of bad luck today. What'd she do? She has seven years bad luck for breaking a mirror. And there's only one way you can turn your luck around. I didn't break it. How's that? By disposing of it properly. Here, I thought I was stuck with all that bad luck. You have to bury all of the shards of the mirror glass, along with all the dust remnants, deep into the ground at the base of a tree. Like my tree? Oh, that's your tree now. But yeah, the willow would do. Can we, Aunt Ellie? I think it'd be best if we let Uncle Gavin do it. Now you're breaking the rules. All right, now who? Tina, she likes the moon. All right. And the rest? Kathy can stay with me tonight. And what about? Brendan, he can go under my bed. Why Brendan? He followed mommy home to protect me. Protect you from who? The boogeyman? Maybe. Have you ever met the boogeyman before? How do you know he's so bad? Maybe he's just made of boogers. He just wants the hanky. And if you don't, he'll tickle you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in this big new place bothering you, Peanut? No. 
You never had me place him on your bed before. Why tonight? I don't know. I had an inkling. I missed my tree. I promise you we'll play there tomorrow. You can even bury that bad luck. I thought you said that's cheating. Yeah, you're right. I did. Except when it's okay. But now it's bedtime. Come on. Brendan, remember? Of course, Peanut. Good night. She's all tucked in. She had me put Brendan under her bed. Did she ever do that with you? No, but you know how she gives them all mine of their own. <laughs> I think I've ever seen this one before. Look at it every morning. How do I not know about this? Because to you, it's just a photograph. I always adored my mother's rosary. And there is a charm on it of the Mother Mary that I loved. All things that are loved are eventually broken. Me and my mom and River used to walk the park every Sunday before church. And the first day that they planted that tree, we took the broken charm from my mother's rosary and we put it in one of the cracks in the branches. So every Sunday when we walked the park, it was there. Then my mom died. And the Sunday of your funeral came and I ran from River and I walked in the park alone. And it was gone. No charm. No tree. Just me. I have to find my answer, Gavin. I can't stand to see River in that place any longer. She's not a monster. Only in their eyes. No, she isn't. They never had any proof. And you protected River by keeping what you saw her do a secret. Only my mother knows what happened that night. River's completely blocked it out. I know. The day I gave you this ring, I made a promise to myself to help you find your answer. I found mine at a younger age. But it's your turn now. That being said, we can't do this forever, Ellie. At some point, you have to stop living in the darkness and just start living. I'll find my answer. That's why we're here. But how far are you willing to go? That's what scares me. Mom? River. So come any closer. Whatever happens tonight, I want you to remember what I told you.
River, make her go away. <laughs> Well, one should be calling. It's already taken care of. I have just a thing. Yay! Did you make a wish? Yes, but I'm not telling. <laughs> All right. Izzy, how big of a piece do you want? Okay, you're getting two pieces then. Princess Peanut and her dames of the royal table. I, Prince Humperdinck, have a gift.
Why, thank you, my leash. Oh, and this. Now you can be just like Uncle Gavin. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, Uncle Gavin. All right, now back to the throne to feast and make a mess of your new dress. She's right here. I'll put her on. It's mommy. Hi, mom. Happy birthday, Peanut. When are you coming back? You know, I can't answer that. You see, I, I want you to think back to the moment where we had to say goodbye to each other. I see us, mommy. What happened next? You touched my cheek. What did you hear? The door closed. Did you see me leave? No. I'm always with you, Izzy. Love is stronger than anything. You can open your eyes now. I dropped it, and one of you has picked it up and put it in your pocket. Not you, not you, but you! You, not you, not you, not you. a nasty looking rash. Oh, it's been like that since last night. Maybe there's something in the house? I don't know. Maybe you should take that off for a while. You're probably right. Very funny. All right. Where's she sleeping? She doesn't sleep. Why is that? Then she can't watch you. Then maybe we can put her on guard with Grendon. Amara doesn't like Grendon. Amara doesn't like any of them. Who? My new friend. Where'd you hear that name, Izzy? She told it to me. Ask her yourself. tomorrow.
I don't like that sound. Where's it coming from, Izzy? Izzy, do you know who did this? Amara. She's playing. I told Uncle Gavin she doesn't sleep. Go to Gavin.
can't just take your picture. They can't hear you. Mom will, though. Isabel, who are you talking to? When do I get to see Mommy today? <sighs> Uncle Gavin will be down soon to take you. Did you do this? See, we finally made it out. Nice to see you again, Gavin. You too, Doc. Well, hello. <laughs> you know, I believe your mother mentioned something about a birthday. What do we say? Thank you. You're welcome. You want me to save it for later? I wondered when I would see you again. <laughs> River? There's someone here to see you. Hi, Peanut. Hi. Hi, Mommy. Hi. Let's give them a moment alone. Have you been? You look beautiful, Peanut. I hope you don't mind me asking you about the girl. River and I never really spoke much. No, I meant Isabel. Has she ever shown any distance from you? Her attention elsewhere? Her eyes looking past you? Anything that would cause you to be concerned? See, Izzy is getting close to the age when River first developed her condition. It's her dolls. This is Amara. Does Amara get along with the others? No. She took them. Where did she take them? I don't know. What about the dolls? She talks about them like they're real people. Oh. Oh. Mara has a secret to tell you. Come on, come on, come on. 
remember. They're not here. Get out of the way, not even out It's all up to you now. Get away from me! Get away! Get away from me! They're, they're me not please. there, remember? They're not no. there. Okay. She'll be fine, Peanut. She's in good hands. I'm sorry to cut the visit so short, but I think it's best we give her some rest. Any idea what happened? Oh, no. Mama spoke to Mommy. What did your doll tell her? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Izzy, look at me. What did Amara tell you? Mommy burned Grandma. Objects associated with haunts are often used as conduits for the spirit or demon to interact with the living. Izzy, has she told you other things? Can you tell us? I can't, or she'll hurt Uncle Gavin again. She didn't hurt me. Amara said next time she'll leave more than just a scratch. How'd you know about that? I don't want her to hurt you anymore. Izzy, what if I keep Amara here and get her some help? That way Gavin will be safe. The act of looking into a mirror or reflection to communicate with the afterlife is known as mirror gazing. Viewing a mirror by candlelight will show you your reflection and that of any entities inhabiting your home. Needless to say, once you become aware of them, they also become aware of you. Are you okay, Izzy? You've been quiet. Look, nobody's gonna hurt me, okay? Then why were you screaming last night? I just had a bad dream. The small dark room? How'd you know about that? Amara told me. You gotta stop listening to her. What happened next? Someone reached in for me. Did they touch you? Is he? What is it, Uncle Gavin? I don't know.
We'll play for a bit. Slow down. How's Isabel? She seems fine after everything today. What did River do? Izzy said Amara spoke to her. Where's it all? Dr. Thorne kept it. You shouldn't have let him. Why? I'm not going to let something harmful get that close to Izzy. <laughs> we need the doll. No, we need Izzy. She's gifted, isn't she? She can hear them the same as her mother. What do you want? You want us to just leave? It's wrong, Ellie. You're using her as bait with no idea who's attached themselves. You know I believe in you. But bringing a child into this? Into what? It's been three days. It's been 16 years. This isn't even about finding an answer anymore. It's an obsession now. You said you understood me. I need to make contact to talk to my mother for closure. Every person has lost a loved one they wanted to speak to one last time. To answer the unanswered. But falling down a rabbit hole doesn't mean there's something at the bottom to catch you. I saw the mirror. I hope it was worth it. Psychomantium. A mirrored room made to communicate with the spiritual realm or undergo transfiguration, a complete change of form or appearance into an eternal spiritual state. The room is set up to optimize psychological effects such as a trance. Do not break concentration as you may fall victim to the dweller on the threshold.
Is he? Isabel. Give him the girl. It's okay, Pina. I have you. It's okay. Please, for me. You're safe now. Where did the sound come from? Is he the mirror? There's something behind this wallpaper. When I found her, she was drifting in and out of consciousness. What happened? She found a knife, tried to jam it in her eardrums. Unfortunately, she succeeded. River has lost all her hearing. I'm sorry, Ellie. Where did she get the knife? I honestly don't know, dear. We avoid cutlery to prevent situations like this. What about the doll? Broken in pieces. She's lucky to be alive. I failed you, Ellie. Well, is she free now? A 
practice run. Would you mind watching after Izzy for a few? My pleasure. Thank you. I hope you know what I'm going to say next. I'm not stopping. I'm well aware. I underestimated you. Yeah, then we're so close. There is no we anymore. There's only you. I'm keeping Izzy with me. You can't. You can't do that. I need her. We've already left, and we're not going back. Do you really want Izzy to experience the same childhood as you? Yeah, I'm not blind, Gavin. Then clearly, you're not looking at what you brought upon her. What's this? It's what your niece has been living with. from last night. The house isn't Amara. That doll isn't Amara. This man is Amara. A man who had slain children in life, let alone in death. You gave her that doll, knowing full well that the presence in that house would attach themselves to it. But what bothers me most is that I just stood by and watched you make a deal with the devil. And I said nothing. Let go. You first.
Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. But you. the girl. Where is he?
wrote a letter to my mother and on the way I dropped it <laughs> Why? It's over. In the house? We've already left. It's time to focus on our family. It's time to live. <sighs> Has she said anything? No. But well, she drew something. Nam amor ist porte cum morte. What does that mean? For love is strong as death.
Why are you still doing this? I need to find out what happened to Mom. This house could let me speak to her one last time. In the years before its slumber, Mar was home to a dozen families, with a lot of them moving in and out. We can't do this forever, Ellie. At some point, you have to stop living in the darkness and just start living. Find the answer. That's why we're here. What do you want? You want us to just leave? This isn't about finding an answer anymore. It's an obsession now. You really want Izzy to experience the same childhood as you? Not blind, Gavin.